Hello guys, the title of this video is Learning Basic Tagalog. It's a Filipino language. If you think that you want to learn more Tagalog or more vocabulary in Tagalog, then this video is exactly for you. And you can follow me in the subscription below. And before this video ends, you will see the summary of all the words that we have studied this whole video. Okay, thank you so much. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. At kung bago ka man sa YouTube channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe. Alam mo kung bakit? Because marami kang matututunan sa mga videos na gagawin ko at sa mga videos na nagawa ko na. At huwag mo rin kalimutan i-click ang bell button para palagi kang updated sa lahat ng mga new videos ko. Thank you so much! Good morning in Tagalog. For example, you're going to visit a friend in the morning or you're going to school and you see your classmates, your friends, your closest friends in the street. You can say, Magandang umaga. And then, in the afternoon, like 12 noon until 6 p.m., you can say, Good afternoon in Tagalog. Magandang hapon. Or you can say that after lunch or, or after work or after office hours. Magandang hapon! And then, in the evening, how to greet in the evening? Good evening in Tagalog. Like, for example, you are eating together with your friends, your family. You can greet them in Tagalog. Magandang gabi! Okay, guys. Another very important basic Tagalog greetings is Komusta. We use that almost every day. That is in English, how are you? Okay, when you see your friends, you meet your friends and you want to ask how they are, you can say Komusta. But that is the informal way. That is, you can say that to your friends, to your classmates, your best friends. Another way of saying Komusta, how are you? In a formal way, we use the word po. We can say, Kumusta po? And that is, by using po, we use that because it denotes high respect, a high level of respect. For example, uh, you are talking to your grandmother, then you use, Kumusta po? You use po actually for someone older than you. It means you have high respect to the person or someone with authority. Okay. Okay. The next is how to introduce yourself in Tagalog or in Filipino language. Anong pangalan mo? It means, what's your name? Okay, I'm going to answer the question. Ako si Lea. My name is Lea. Then I'm going to ask you the question, Ikaw, anong pangalan mo? It means you, what's your name? And then you're going to answer the question, Ako si, then your name. Okay? Okay, next is Tagalog common phrases. It means the words that we use almost every day are very basic common words. Okay, first is oo. It means yes. But we can also say in another way, we use also opo. We use opo, it, it means or it denotes to someone older than you or someone that you have high respect. Like for example, your parents, your grandparents, or someone with authority. Okay, the next is hindi. It means no. Or you can also say hindi po. Then, 
Salamat! It means thank you. Another way is also salamat po. And the next one is walang anuman or walang anuman po. It means you're welcome. And then another one is pakiusap. Pakiusap means please. You can also say pakiusap po. And the next one is sandali lang. It means one moment. And you can also say it in another way. Sandali lang po. And then the next one is paumanhin. It means I'm sorry. Or in another way, paumanhin po. And then paalam. It means goodbye. Or another way is paalam po. And then the last one, ingat. It means take care. Or another way is ingat po. Okay guys, the next one is how to ask questions in Tagalog or in a Filipino language. I'm going to give you an example, a very simple example of questions that we usually use every day. Okay? The first one is, ano? It means what? And the question is, ano ang gusto mong inumin? It means, what do you want to drink? And then the next one is, sino ang presidente ng Pilipinas? Who is the president of the Philippines? Another one is, saan ka nakatira? Or you can also ask in another way, like uh, if you're asking to someone who, that you have respect, high respect to someone who is older than you, then you can ask the question like, saan po kayo nakatira? It means, where do you live? Another one is, Kailan ang kaarawan mo? Which means, when is your birthday? And then, another question is, Paano po ako makakapag-aral sa ibang bansa? Or you can ask in a shorter way, Paano makapag-aral sa ibang bansa? It means, how can I study abroad? Okay guys, another example of common questions in Tagalog is, Ilan ang mansanas na gusto mo? It means, how many apples do you want? Another one is, Magkano po ang isang kilo? It is asking how many kilo. It means, how much is one kilo? Another one is very important and is very common. We usually use this almost every day is, Ano oras na? What time is it? Okay. Last one is, Paano pumunta sa palengke? How to go to the market? Okay guys, now, I have a question. Do you know how to say I love you in Tagalog or in Filipino language? Or let us say, how do you express your feelings to your loved ones? In Tagalog, I love you is mahal kita. Okay, now I'm gonna introduce to you guys the very important food in the Philippines. It's like almost everybody in the Christ during the Christmas prepared this food and we call it lechon. It's a roasted pig. Okay, I'm gonna make a sentence about lechon. Tuwing Pasko, hindi mawawala ang lechon sa pagkain Pilipino. Okay, it means every Christmas, roasted pig 
Lechon is always present in Filipino dishes. Okay guys, I'm going to give you 50 common Tagalog words beginners must know. I'm going to say it all in Tagalog and you will follow me in the translation, the English translation below. Okay? The first word is familia. Pagkain. Gulay. Prutas. Tubig. Kape. Gatas. Karne, tinapay, eroplano, paliparan, banyo, silid tulugan, inumin, bisikleta, kaarawan, Maganda. Okay, guys. Another common Tagalog words beginners must know. I. First word. Bughaw. Dilaw. Itim. Pula. Puti. Aso. Pusa, opuan, cellphone, mura, mahal, inom, bestida, tanghalian, agahan, hapunan, Araw, magluto, mainit, malamig, maulan, maulap, mga damit, bata, mata, Tenga, balat, ilong. Okay guys, now I'm going to share to you some Tagalog compliments. I'm going to say it in a sentence, simple sentence. Okay, number one, maganda ang itimo. It means your smile is beautiful. Another compliment, ang guapo mo. It means you are handsome. Or you can also say, ang ganda mo. It means you are beautiful. Okay. Another is, magaling ka. That means, you're good, you're great. It means you're great, uh, that means that you excel in something. Maybe you are good in math, you are good in drawing, things like that. Okay, another one is, Bagay sayo ang suot mo. Your dress looks nice on you. Okay. How to give compliment to a friend? Okay. Ang kaibigan ko ay mabait. It means my friend is kind. If she is kind. Okay. Another thing is Ang kaibigan ko ay tapat. That means my friend is loyal. Okay, okay, thank you so much guys and hope you enjoyed today and I'm going to, to, to share to you also some of the summary of 
all the words that we have studied and also I'm going to put extra words like how to count numbers in Tagalog, okay? And thank you so much for watching.